Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Chuck and today we are going to be learning how to play lead guitar starting with the C major scale. Woohoo! So you want to learn how to play lead guitar. You search the web, you see all these diagrams and these charts and whoa! These charts blow your mind. 60, 70 notes. Hey, we're just learning how to play the guitar. If you see a chart that has 60 notes might be a little overwhelming for a beginner. Uh, and I counted these notes. I've been playing for 40 years. It confuses me. When I started playing guitar, there was no internet, no web. I actually can't remember the chord charts that I used. I searched and searched, trying to figure out how to display chord diagrams for you guys to play. Now, um, I searched and I searched, figuring out how to show you scales and I couldn't find anything. So finally I thought scale software. I found scale software. So I'm going to try to show you guys how to learn how to play lead guitar starting with eight notes. Not 60, not 70, not these diagrams that you don't know where to start, where to end, what is C. It, it's, it's confusing. Why do I start with C? Why don't we start with A? Well, simply because you look at a piano, all the white keys on a piano are C major. No sharps, no flats. A major has a sharp, so that's canceled. We want to start easy. We're beginning. So beginning on a diagram, 60 notes to me is not easy. C major scale, 8 notes. Very simple. 7 notes the scale C, D, E, F, G, A, B, but we're going to be going to octave, C to C. So that makes up for the eight notes. So let's try to break this down. We're going to be doing eight notes starting with C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and ending on C. We're going to be doing five positions of the exact same notes. Starting on the open position, first position, second, third and fourth, all the same notes. We're going to make it simple. We're not going to try to do 16 notes. We're not going to try to change octaves. We're going to do all the same notes in five positions and that will be enough for one lesson. If the five positions appears to be overwhelming, we will start with just the one position. And just to work on that, you can stop the video at any time and then work on the second position. But we are going to be doing five positions and the reason the five is because they are all the same notes in different positions on the guitar and you really need to know all the different positions so when you add on your octaves you'll be able to cover the entire fretboard. One of the beautiful things about the guitar versus the piano, once you learn a key on a guitar, a pattern, you slide it up for your starting root and you can play any key using the same pattern. Now a piano, the advantage of a piano is once you learn the C scale, you can just rip that up the entire piano, the same pattern. What's difficult on a piano is when you have to change a key, now you're going to learn the black notes. So the piano has its advantages that you, once you learn a pattern, you can play the entire scale where guitar you have to change the pattern for the three octaves. Guitar you can basically cover three octaves versus a piano that has seven octaves. So a little difference there. Besides the five positions we're going to be doing various tempos. We're going to be starting with a slow tempo of one, two, three, four, and we'll pick it up to one, two, three, four, and we'll be picking it up to a one and two and three and four. Whether we get to the one E and a two E and a three E and a four E, don't know yet. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. And as I said, each we're going to be doing five positions. Every position starts on the C note and it ends on the C note. Very simple. Cut, take, forge. That adds up to be 160 notes that we're going to be playing. So that 8 notes adds up to 160 very fast. 
So let's get started. We're going to be doing five positions. Each position starts on the C note and ends on a C note. Make it very simple so that way if you're following along there's no confusion. Where am I? What note it is? All the positions start on C and on C. They are all the same notes. It doesn't matter where you play them. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to give you a rundown on what we're going to be doing on the scale positions. So the open position, again, if we did all the notes as according to the charts diagrams we see, that's too many notes. That's not a scale. We're going to be starting on C, as I said, and ending on C. C, D, E, F, G, A. B, C, played twice. First position, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Also, we can do it as 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Or again, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. The same as two, four, one, two, four. Three, four, one. And this is my favorite. One, two. You got the extension on that. My favorite ones to play are the two four one two four one three four because it's the same thing except it's a chorus of string down. And I also like the one where instead of one three four you got one three and it's the fourth one extended. It allows you to get really get a nice stretch in there.
first lesson on the C major chord. Eight notes, C to C, simple. We will do more the next lesson, but for now, just for beginners, that's a good starting point. Eight notes, a little bit tempo, pick up the pace. As you probably noticed, when you're doing it slow, it's kind of boring, but you need to get the tempo down. You need to have that steady tempo. And as you pick up the pace, Sometimes it's a little easier to pick up the pace, and the next thing you know, you really got to start paying attention when you start getting into the Allegro speed. Um, a little bit of a flub at the very end that I had. I thought I had it down. So I treat this kind of like a game and a pointing system. Um, I do play rock band. They keep track of how many notes you miss. It's quite a lot. <laughs> Same thing here. I thought I was going over 100% on this demo. I could easily chop, edit, cut. Paste, I can make it 100% easily. But that would be no fun to show you mistakes that can be made in real life. So I was getting it to the end, and I, I don't know, my mind wandered for a second about thinking about paying attention. <laughs> All it takes when you're trying to play fast or play a good part is a split second distraction, and you're all done. There's the flub, there's the mistake. Stop, hit record, take two. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. It's a lot of fun to make. Thanks for watching.